All right, welcome back to Boy Reviews. The Great. jokester there. I thought you were pointing me for me to introduce myself. What else? The nickster there. Finally, someone called me that. And we are super excited for another Lee Evans reaction. We have started to react to him again just recently. The last one, Road Rage, was absolutely hilarious. He adds so much different physical comedy to it, if you will. Animated, all this kind of stuff. He does funny voices. He's like the whole package there, and we're super excited to check out another one. Which one today, Miss Jodes? Let's talk about fine dining. Oh my, fine dining. Um, if it's your thing, I love you, okay? But I used to work in a restaurant, in the restaurant business, and I always thought fine dining seemed like the most pointless thing of all time. It's basically just a way to act like a king or a queen mm -hmm. for a meal time. It's very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. But there's so many rules. Someone was telling me they used to work in fine dining that came to just <clears throat> regular Joe Schmo dining. And there's rules for just pouring water, like where you got to stand and how you have to hold yourself and this or that and do that. I mean, forget about that nonsense. So I'm excited to see him talk about it. Hopefully he slams it and makes fun of it. If you like our reaction to it, please don't forget Schmo. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload of videos. And... If you've heard that a million times, we apologize, but we've got to remind people who are new to the channel, it does help out. Here we go. Do you know what I hate most about going out, trying to get home? I don't like getting into those dodgy minicabs after the pub shuts. You know, it's the weekend, you manage to flag down one of those dodgy minicabs, because it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't smell like you're getting into a minicab, does it? It smells like you've just climbed into the driver's ass crack. <laughs> Dipped in onion gravy, you know? Oh, gosh. You know, you're in the back of the cab going, Hmm, you must be a bisto bum. <laughs> Even the pine-scented magic tree hanging from the mirror is like, Take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me here, please. Why do all mini-cab drivers look like they've run through Sports Direct in a hurry covered in f***ing glue? <laughs> they don't have dress down Friday. They have couldn't give a f week. <laughs> Sometimes me and my wife would go and get something to eat at a restaurant. You know, when you walk into one of those Italian restaurants in Birmingham, as soon as you walk through the door, the waiter's like, oh, ciao, buone grazie, lovely to have you here. Straight away, you start doing all that mock Italian shit back to him. Oh, grazie, buone, ciao. <laughs> Suddenly you're talking to the waiter like you're head of the Coroloni family, you know? <laughs> I'm worried about Michael. I'm worried about Michael, you know what I'm saying, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all cool to do that in an Italian restaurant. Oh, yeah, but you wouldn't do that at McDonald's, would you? Copper the bloke beyond the counter up there. Do you want fries with that? Do you mind leaving the premises? Do you mind leaving the premises? <laughs> It's like when you're on your holidays abroad in one of those foreign restaurants with your wife and the waiter has spent like half an hour going through the specials of the day, you know? We have the little baby lobster wings and loon shells caught only at sunset, simmered in a buttercup snapper over the delicious smidgen of mango juice sticks, dipped in a tangy toffee vivi -vi vinaigrette on a bit of flaming lamb's liver ta ta pate. This comes with a sumptuous tiny tureen of hummingbird steam bread, captured with a small <laughs> thimble full of anti fanny but we can a sorbet sauce, and a crackerjack pencil and pain glass of rainwater scooped from the chilling apps that is so pure it doesn't even exist. <laughs> Jeez, how does someone remember all of that? That was crazy. That is probably the most impressive thing I've seen anyone try to remember in a short time talking fast. Wow. And you want, your wife won't stop him. She let him get all the way to the end. She's going, just send the egg in, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Seriously. That's why I don't like going to restaurants with my wife. Have you ever had your wife nick your chips off your plate? F you be in a restaurant with your wife. She orders the Gwyneth Paltrow Biafro skinny salad. <laughs> and you <laughs> order the chips. Stuff. Worst thing she can say. Oh, this is nice. Taste that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh I see what's fucking happening here. Because <laughs> <laughs> next thing, if you wash yours like, oh, f you want a chip. <laughs> Once she starts, that's it. Wave goodbye to them fucking chips, mate. It turns into trying to eat your chips on the end of the pier at the seaside while fending off freaking seagulls. She's on the other side of the table going, ah! <laughs> 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 Oh, no. 
At the end of the meal, she goes, do you think them chips are fattening? Not for me, I didn't f***ing have any, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm not that bad. I... We, we don't mind sharing. We talked about this before. Different comedians joke around about it. And it's hilarious in concept. But take it back to real life real quick. Do you mind if someone eats your food? Because we don't. I can care. I want to see what's on there. She wants to try mine. But our kids are kind of a different story. Yes. Whether it's drinks or smoothies or food or whatever. I want, our youngest I want, son I want. loves to say taste for a taste. Yes. Because he, he wants to try it all. And our two oldest kids are like, no. I just want mine to myself. I don't want to. And in my mind, I think that's logical. You have some, you have some, but some people are just no. like, no, it's like Joey from friends, my food. If you want to have the chips, you should order the chips, but don't eat mine. This is my food. Joey doesn't share food. Yes. Oh, my cheeks hurt. But no, I don't mind. If anything else, I steal off her plate more than she steals off my plate. True. But we do live in America where you get way too much food. See, I think my wife is trying to kill me. I really do. We'd be in a restaurant. She'd go, here, I think that chicken's off. Taste that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you can have the trots. I'm not f***ing getting them. <laughs> this is f***ing Ebola, I ass. <laughs> I don't like fussy eaters. I don't like... You know when you sat in a restaurant with them fussy... You know, they just sat at the table just moaning about everything on the menu. You know, there's nothing on there for me. <laughs> There's nothing on there for me. This is too cold. This ain't cold enough. Oh, the waiter's like, would you like some gravy? Go on then, a little bit of gravy, a little bit more, more ruined. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, people want to pick this. Like, I wear glasses. I can't see fuck. I can't see anything. You know? <laughs> so I go to a restaurant. I can't read the menu. First thing I do is start feeling me breasts for me glasses. So the, the woods are Tom and I took my wife out to try and feel her breasts. Now I'm feeling me on. <laughs> People love noisy food. Have you noticed that? How many times have you been sat in a Chinese restaurant and the waiter walks past with all that sizzling food, making all that noise, and everyone goes, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's getting the sizzling food? What's so impressive about noisy food? I don't want my food still making a noise when it comes out that kitchen <laughs> fence. You'd freak out if the waiter brought live cow over to your table. Ah. <laughs> That's why I don't like going out, mind you. I don't like staying in either. <laughs> oh man, that sounds oh, like us. Oh gosh, seriously. It's more, more so you, actually. Yeah. We are both homebodies, but everyone's. She gets more stir crazy than I do, or she gets stir crazy faster, crazier yeah. faster than I do. But uh, that's awesome. I don't want to go out. I don't want to stay in. What are we gonna do? I have no idea. He is just, I mean, honestly, it's its so impressive. I can't say it enough. I'm probably going to say it a million more times as we react to him more, if you want us to. He is so impressed with a different thing. His cow impression was just like, I would never have done it that way, but I don't move that way either. But that was just awesome. And then even like his, his gunshot. I know. <laughs> so awesome. Pretty good. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Adios.